Hello guys, good morning, great morning after the Nisarg cyclone. So let's crack UPC CAC with India's largest learning platform that is an academy. This is all about me, a medical graduate mentor educator for different examinations from UPSC to MPSC that is state services, Maharashtra state services. My teaching experience is more than eight years and I taught across different states in India. On an academy, you get many benefits like first and most important benefit is daily live classes. Then on an academy, you will get structured courses which are available on an academy plus platform. Then live test and quiz, regular live test or quiz on an academy pe. and all these daily live classes are in recorded format which you can access for unlimited number of times as many of my students are experiencing my previous year question paper analysis. Then on an academy, India's top educators will teach you or educate you for different examinations. You can see the top educators and on an academy, there are the subjects, different subjects like quality to science and technology and more than one course for a single subject and more than one teacher for a single subject. You can see the uh, subjects. Uh, the subscription for an academy are available from one month to 24 month guys here UPSC CSC ke liye one or three month is not useful so what you need to do you need to opt for either 12 month so for 12 month subscription fees is 40,000 but if you use my code SKUS so your fees will get immediately become 36,000 with 10% discount and in case of 24 month subscription fees is 48,000 rupees that is only 8,000 extra for 12 more months and if you use my code SKUS so you are getting 10% discount immediately and you will get access to 20 uh, an academy subscription platform for 24 months okay guys so this is all about an academy today we are, we are going to discuss one article from the Hindu 3rd June <coughs> Now see, if you are going through my science and technology through the Hindu uh, series on YouTube, you will understand what exactly we are doing. We are picking up a particular keyword from the current affair news and we are working on that keyword. So, you say, what is happening? Uh, through that keyword, all your basics of that particular topic are being covered. For example, we discussed SARS-CoV-2, COVID-19 and vaccines about COVID-19. So when, while discussing vaccine, we discussed what exactly vaccine is, what are the different types of vaccines that we discussed. So vaccine and types of vaccine, that is basics. Okay. So in the same way, today there is an article about the coronal heating. Now here this coronal heating is of sun. Okay, so the heading itself says now more light on sun's coronal heating. So when you read this article, I hope you went through this article. After reading this article, there will be a question in your mind. What exactly this corona is? What exactly is this corona is? So we will discuss that today. Uh, before that, before we start discussing, let me see who all have joined the um, live chat. Hello Vijay Raghavan. Hi. Hello. Hello Ragini Gupta. Good morning. Bishwa Sahu, Charchika, Tanya, Khemraj, Nikita, Vijay, Kapil, Shriyari, Saroj, Panchal, Ramandeep Kaur. Good morning guys. Good morning to everyone. Welcome. Or, and today you are going to learn each and everything about sun. Each and everything about sun. After today's lecture, you need not to go to the basics of sun. What is the structure of sun? And as along with that, I will explain you the different concepts that can be asked in your preliminary examination as well as these concepts will help you to understand different things that are happening in space and which are coming in the Hindu. So once you are done with the today's lecture, after that you need not to go back to the sun. What you need to do? You need to update yourself with the recent happenings which are related to sun like the yesterday's news. Okay. So don't forget my code SKVS while subscribing from an academy. We'll start with the structure of sun. Now here, uh, most of the students are not aware of the structure of sun. Even students from science background, they are not aware of the structure of sun. Yes, those students who studied geography, in geography, you must have went through 
sunspot cycle that's what we know about sun sunspot cycle right but in geography while explaining sunspot cycle uh, there are very few teachers who will explain you about the uh, sun st structure because sun structure is normally studied in science and technology okay guys so that this you know this you need to learn in geography you will find a uh, sunspot uh, information about sunspot cycle from one of the geography faculty Gaurav Gupta sir you can find him on YouTube as well as an academy learning app so this is the structure now please be attentive be careful अब इसके बाद जो मैं बताने जा रहा हूं ना आपको बहुत ही केयरफुल सुनना है मैं यहाँ पे नाम लिखते जाऊंगा एंड आई एम गोइंग फ्रॉम इंटीरियर ऑफ द सन टू आउटसाइड इंटीरियर टू आउटसाइड जस्ट लोकेट द नेम इन द इमेज सो फर्स्ट इज कोअर जस्ट लोकेट इट इन इमेज यू विल फाइंड दिस कोअर हियर दिस इज द कोअर ऑफ द सन ओके दिस इज द कोअर ऑफ द सन First, we will just go through the anatomy of the sun. I will explain one by one. Everything will be explained in detail to you. After core, core, there is radiative zone. Just find it on uh, in image. Radiative zone. Radiative zone. So this is radiative zone. After the core in sun, you will find radiative zone. See, sun is a structure of like ball. So, ये जो है ना ये dissected है या ये view है इसे हमने sun को cut करके अंदर से हम देख रहे हैं ठीक है radiative zone. After radiative zone, you need to find out in the image is convective zone. Convective zone. First, just just try to try to understand or locate these zones this is the anatomy of sun after convective zone you will find next is photosphere next is photosphere just locate it after photosphere you will find chromosphere locate it chromosphere locate it okay and after chromosphere last is corona so yahan pe bhi dekhiye corona hai sun ke paas bhi corona hai hame bhi pareshan kisne kar rakha hai corona ne hi kar rakha hai theek hai so first point there are total six distinct regions in sun it starts with the core and last is corona अब इसमें आपको देखना क्या है कि सी ये जो तीन लेयर है ऊपर के और फर्स्ट थ्री जो पार्ट है इन्हें इनर लेयर्स कहते हैं बिकॉज सन इज नॉट सॉलिड सन इज मेड अप ऑफ गैस सो दीज आर द थ्री इनर लेयर्स कोर रेडिएटिव जोन एंड दी कन्वेक्टिव जोन इनर लेयर्स ऑफ द सन एंड रेस्ट ऑफ थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स these are outer layers these are outer layers okay ab inme aur ek fact yaad rakhni hai aapko these outer layers are also known as atmosphere of the sun these outer layers are also known as atmosphere of the sun here what is the meaning of atmosphere like when we say earth's atmosphere does that atmosphere is actual part of the earth no it is something which surrounds the earth that's what we call atmosphere otherwise earth is mainly made up of the uh, core lithosphere mantle and the lithosphere right that is the main three sections of earth aur uske surrounding mein hai atmosphere same is the case with sun pehle jo teen layers hai core radiative zone and convective zone this is actual sun and photosphere chromosphere and corona these this is the atmosphere of the sun in che ko milkar hum kya kehte hai sun kehte hai to this is the anatomy of the sun this is the anatomy of the sun <laughs> no kapil it is not like corona virus yes corona is everywhere okay hello puja kumari okay guys if you understood 
all the six layers of sun three inner layers three outer layers and what exactly is included in the atmosphere of sun if you understood this please say yes in live chat please say yes in live chat clear so this is all about the uh, anatomy of the sun now i will go back to the uh, uh, structure of the sun so first core second radiative zone third convective zone so these are the three inner layers after that first it comes to the photosphere then chromosphere next is chromosphere okay and after chromosphere third is corona that's great everyone understood rajnis please ask me what exactly you didn't understood okay so this is corona now ab yahan pe aapko aur bhi kuch terms dikh rahi hai like aapko yahan pe dikh raha hai sunspot i will explain you what exactly sunspot is then you can see flare ya yeah, solar flare even i will explain this also and after that you will can see the prominence ye teen cheeze hai and the fourth one is coronal hole so there are four structures or four names in this image which are not known to you right now right so each and everything will be taught to you first we need to understand the basics of sun now you know the names of the structures that are present in the sun we'll go about through one by one before before we go to the core before we go to the core those who are from non science background that is from arts and commerce for you guys i am explaining this please listen to me carefully everyone knows that atom is made up of proton neutron and electrons electrons they revolve around the nucleus proton and neutron they are present in the nucleus this is basic structure of atom proton neutron and electron clear now there is one concept which is known as atomic number atomic number those who are from science background please tell me what is the definition of atomic number so when we say atomic number we say total number of proton total number of प्रोटॉन को हम क्या कहते हैं एटॉमिक नंबर सो एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज वन एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज वन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इट मीन्स हाइड्रोजन हैज वन प्रोटॉन इन द न्यूक्लियस एंड हाइड्रोजन एवरी वन नोज हाइड्रोजन ऑल्सो हैज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन विच इज रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड दिस न्यूक्लियस so one proton and one electron this is hydrogen this is hydrogen so here you can see hydrogen dikh raha hai yahan pe they called this hydrogen protium unhone is hydrogen ko protium kaha hai theek hai so one proton any nucleus with one proton is hydrogen abhi ye dimag mein rakhna hai just remember one fact any nucleus with one proton is hydrogen so isme kitne proton hai only one so this is also hydrogen isme kitne proton hai only one so this is also hydrogen so this is hydrogen this is hydrogen and this is also hydrogen ye teeno hydrogen hai but as you can see there is a difference so yahan pe dusra point aata hai ab yahan pe ek bhi neutron nahi hai maine aapko pehle hi kaha tha ki nucleus mein kya hote hai proton and न्यूट्रॉन बट हियर यू कैन सी देर इज नो न्यूट्रॉन इन द हाइड्रोजन यहां देखिए ओनली प्रोटोन है तो इफ वी एड वन न्यूट्रॉन इन टू दिस सी हियर वन प्रोटोन एंड वन न्यूट्रॉन तो इट बिकम्स हाइड्रोजन बट विथ वन एक्स्ट्रा न्यूट्रॉन तो उसे इन्होंने नाम दिया ड्यूटेरियम ठीक है ड्यूटेरियम नाउ देर इज अनादर कंसेप्ट इसे कहा जाता है एटोमिक मास नंबर atomic mass number okay these are the basics of nuclear technology now atomic mass number ka meaning hota hai total number of proton and total number of neutron proton aur neutron dono ko milkar atomic mass number kehte hai 
ठीक है सो इन केस ऑफ दिस हाइड्रोजन एटॉमिक नंबर इज वन एज वेल एज एटॉमिक मास नंबर इज वन बिकॉज देर इज नो न्यूट्रॉन ओनली वन प्रोटोन हियर एटॉमिक मास एटॉमिक नंबर इज वन बट एटॉमिक मास नंबर इज टू बिकॉज वन प्रोटोन एंड वन न्यूट्रॉन टू एंड दिस इज अगेन एटॉमिक नंबर इज वन बिकॉज ओनली वन प्रोटोन बट एटॉमिक मास नंबर इज थ्री बिकॉज ऑफ वन proton and two neutron so here you can see all these three are hydrogen but they are different because the number of neutron is different as well as atomic mass number is different iska ek hai iska do hai aur iska teen hai so when atomic number is same and atomic mass number is different that is एटोमिक नंबर इज सेम एंड एटोमिक मास नंबर इज डिफरेंट तो हम उसे क्या कहते हैं आइसोटोप वी कॉल इट एज आइसोटोप नॉन साइंस बैकग्राउंड के स्टूडेंट के लिए सो इफ कंसेप्ट ऑफ यहां पे हमने तीन कंसेप्ट डिस्कस की वॉट इज एटोमिक नंबर एवरी वन नोज वॉट इज एटोमिक मास नंबर एवरी वन नोज एंड वॉट इज आइसोटोप ओके नाउ विल गो अहेड सो दीज आर द्री आइसोटोप ऑफ हाइड्रोजन प्रोटीयम ड्यूटेरियम एंड ट्रिटियम इवन साइंस स्टूडेंट डोंट नो अबाउट दिस श्रीहरी ड्यूटेरियम मीन्स हाइड्रोजन विथ वन न्यूट्रॉन हाइड्रोजन बट विथ वन न्यूट्रॉन दैट इज ड्यूटेरियम ओके और हाइड्रोजन विथ एटोमिक मास नंबर ऑफ टू दैट इज ड्यूटेरियम फाइन क्लियर सो ये तीन कंसेप्ट इस स्लाइड से हमें क्लियर करनी है एटोमिक नंबर एटोमिक मास नंबर एंड आइसोडोम नाउ वी आर गोइंग अड remember the three three names the protium deuterium and tritium these are the three isotopes of hydrogen here we come into the core ab hum aate hain core pe theek hai one by one sabse pehli important jo concept hai core mein wo ye hai ki inside this core fusion happens fusion i already told you in previous year question paper analysis what happens inside the sun fusion and we call this fusion nuclear fusion because nucleus of two hydrogen nucleus of two hydrogen fuse together to form helium so two nucleus fuse ho gaye isliye nuclear fusion and this nuclear fusion releases enormous amount of energy it releases enormous amount of energy okay good morning mukesh so enormous amount of energy clear understood here so what happens in core yahan pe pehla point yaad rakhiye first point what happens in core nuclear fusion kis kis ke beech mein two nucleus of hydrogen fuse together to form one helium two nucleus of hydrogen fuse together to form one helium this is nuclear fusion fusion and this leads to enormous amount of energy this will release enormous amount of energy fine this is core you know the where exactly core is ab yahan pe aapko ek point yaad rakhna hai the temperature of core is 27 million degree fahrenheit or 15 million degree celsius just imagine the temperature 15 million 1 million is equal to 10 lakh 1 million is equal to 10 lakh okay clear so as if 15 million degree celsius temperature a core ka that's why thermonuclear fusion happens see for fusion we need for fusion we need plasma or we need elements in plasma state and to achieve plasma state we need high temperature which is available in the core of the sun that's why thermonuclear fusion takes place in the core of the sun we need high temperature and high pressure there is a high pressure inside the core of the sun because sun ka jo mass hai wo bahut zyada hai that's why core mein density ya pressure zyada hai as well as temperature zyada hai clear so why nuclear fusion or thermonuclear fusion happens in core because high temperature and high pressure and the hydrogen that fuses and helium which is formed after fusion they are in 
plasma state they are in plasma state everyone knows what is plasma it is nothing but positive and negative charges positive and negative charges and we know protons they are positively charged electrons they are negatively charged neutrons they are chargeless so proton or electron hai if, uh, hydrogen mein aur helium mein bhi hai so abhi sirf itna yaad rakhna hai aapko what happens in core nuclear fusion of, uh, of which elements two atoms of hydrogen or two nucleuses of hydrogen fuse together and they form a nucleus of helium this is nuclear fusion why nuclear fusion happens in core because there is high temperature as well as high pressure in the core of the sun that leads to formation of plasma and these plasma particles they fuse together and that leads to thermonuclear fusion now here you need to understand or ek reference mein aapko batata hu there was there was one question in previous year question paper about iter international thermonuclear experimental reactor in this reactor we are trying to achieve something which is happening in the core of the sun we are trying to achieve something which is happening in the core of the sun guys now if we want to achieve nuclear fusion on earth what we need we need high temperature and high pressure we need a uh, matter in plasma state now is it possible on earth to create temperature conditions this high temperature conditions it's very difficult though it is not impossible but it is difficult clear just and uh, i touched one topic so अब यहाँ पे एक अनाउंसमेंट याद रखिए टुमारो एट ए एम अन अकेडमी लर्निंग एप वी विल स्टडी आई टी ई आर इंटरनेशनल थर्मोन्यूक्लियर एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिएक्टर वी विल स्टडी दिस ओके बट टू स्टडी दिस यू नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ द कंसेप्ट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन विच इज क्लियर एटलीस्ट यू गॉट बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन नाउ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में आपको न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन क्लियरली समझ में आएगा रमनदीप कौर प्लीज आस्क क्लियरली वॉट एक्सैक्टली यू डिंट अंडरस्टूड क्लियर सो बिफोर गोइंग लिविंग दिस स्लाइड आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग वॉट इज कोर इट इज इट इज अ प्लेस इन द इंटीरियर ऑफ द सन वेयर न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन टेक्स प्लेस uh what fuses in this nuclear fusion two nucleus of hydrogen fuse together to form a nucleus of helium and it leads to what it leads to release of enormous amount of energy that's it this is about core rest i told you just for your conceptual understanding clear prelims mein do tarah ke question yahan frame ho sakte hai pehla first question ki uh what happens in the uh, why energy is released from the sun or from where this energy comes so this energy comes from the core because of nuclear fusion okay ab aapke prelims ke liye main yahan ek question puchne wala hu please answer this question single liner single liner question for your prelims please answer this question okay guys main yahan pe aapko question puch raha hu now the question is please listen carefully okay which of the following element fuses in the core of the sun which of the following element fuses in the core of the sun this is the question and aapke liye options hai number 1 first option a hydrogen b deuterium c tritium and d none please answer this question and d none please answer this question in live chat guys okay राजन कुमार नॉट हेलियम बिकॉज आई आस्क क्वेश्चन में मैंने क्या पूछा वॉट फ्यूजेस इन द कोर ऑफ द सन सो इट्स नॉट हेलियम हेलियम इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फ्यूजन दुर्गेश खैरनार आंसर इज रॉन्ग If or in option there is deuterium and tritium, then answer is wrong. Hydrogen is wrong. Answer hydrogen is wrong. Now, now tell me the answer. 
observe this slide and tell me the answer observe this slide and tell me the answer nuclear fusion in core nuclear fusion in core now why hydrogen is a wrong answer because when we say helium nucleus of helium is formed when we say nucleus of helium is formed yes gargi b deuterium <coughs> atomic number of helium is 2 matlab there are two protons in the nucleus of helium atomic mass number of helium is 4 matlab there are two neutrons so this is the nucleus of helium this is the nucleus of helium now if we want a helium with two proton and two neutron see here when you say hydrogen when you say hydrogen the nucleus of hydrogen has only one proton so when we fuse two nucleus of hydrogen it will form only this not helium this is not helium helium actual kya hai two proton plus two neutron that's why deuterium clear ab main usi question ko thoda sa alag bana do same question ko main thoda alag banata hu ab uska answer karna hai aapko theek hai same question same question differently see Which of the following element fuses in the core of the sun? Which of the following element fuses in the core of the sun? For A, hydrogen. A, hydrogen. B, helium. C, uranium. And D, thorium. these are the four topic four options yes answer this question now which of the following element fuses in the core of the sun these two questions that i framed these questions tell you that there is no perfect answer in upsc there is no perfect answer in upsc okay always there is more correct answer in upsc more correct answer in upsc that's why you need to use elimination method without that you cannot come to the right answer this is the importance of elimination method that's why always use elimination method look for the those options which are not correct and then you will be left with the correct option so ab dekhiye question ka frame same hai we only changed the option and answer changed we only changed the option and answer changed this is how upsc plays with you guys this is how upsc plays with you in preliminary examination clear so uh, yahan pe over smart hona bhi not done as well as you need to be नॉट लाइक like, आपको ऐसा भी नहीं है कि कुछ पता नहीं है ऐसे भी नहीं होने चाहिए आप और ओवर स्मार्ट भी नहीं होने चाहिए यू नीड टू फॉलो दी यूपीएससी वॉट एवर यूपीएससी जी आई इज आस्किंग रीड क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली एंड देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू एंसर सो दिस इज एक्चुअल रिएक्शन विच टेक्स प्लेस इन द कोर ऑफ द सन एंड रिमेंबर वेदर इट इज न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन वेदर इट इज न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन which is happening in the core of the sun or nuclear fission or nuclear fission which is happening in the nuclear reactors for both of these we need isotopes or we need radioactive isotopes we need radioactive isotopes and remember hydrogen is not radioactive deuterium and tritium are radioactive hydrogen is not radioactive that's why here you can see two items of hydrogen that is one of the isotope of hydrogen what deuterium what deuterium has one proton one neutron 
another deuterium one proton one neutron they will fuse together and they will form यहाँ पे आप देख रहे हो यहाँ ट्रिटियम भी दिया है उन्होंने ठीक है आइदर टू ड्यूटेरियम और ट्रिटियम हम ट्रिटियम वाला ही एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं टू न्यूट्रॉन सो इससे क्या हुआ थ्री न्यूट्रॉन एंड वन सॉरी टू प्रोटॉन ये हेलियम का आइसोटोप बना एंड इसमें से भी वन न्यूट्रॉन विल बी रिलीज एंड वी विल गेट हेलियम ऑफ टू न्यूट्रॉन एंड टू प्रोटोन दिस इज न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन In this we used tritium and deuterium. We can use two deuteriums or we can use two tritium, but it is not feasible to use hydrogen for nuclear fusion. Clear? Shubham Rajput sir, elimination method ka bhi tricks batayenge. No, uh, see Shubham, there is no trick of elimination method. Elimination method itself is a trick. Jisme hota kya hai ki read question carefully and try to find out those options which are not answers okay sir please clear the difference between fission and fusion see durgesh in fusion we fuse two nuclei and in fission we break down one single nucleus into more than two or three this is the difference between fission and the fusion clear guys nuclear fusion in core so here we completed the core part यहाँ पे हमने कोर कंप्लीट किया व्हाट हैपेंस इन कोर टू एटम्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन और ड्यूटेरियम और ट्रिटियम फ्यूज टुगेदर एंड दे विल फॉर्म हेलियम एंड इन दिस न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन प्रोसेस लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज रिलीज्ड एंड दैट इज द एनर्जी व्हिच सन रिलीजेस इनटू द स्पेस एंड दैट दैट इज द सेम एनर्जी व्हिच इज रीचिंग टू अस क्लियर गाइस कोर क्लियर हो गया नाउ आपको तीन चीजें याद रखनी है यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर व्हाट इज हाइड्रोजन व्हाट इज ड्यूटेरियम एंड व्हाट इज ट्रिटियम क्लियर नाउ विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नाउ हियर इफ यू सी दिस स्लाइड इज अबाउट रेडिएटिव जोन दिस स्लाइड इज अबाउट रेडिएटिव जोन हियर आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन यू फ्यू थिंग्स ठीक है दोज हु आर फ्रॉम साइंस बैकग्राउंड एंड दोज हुर हैव गुड ग्रीप ऑन फिजिक्स दे विल आंसर दिस प्लीज टेल मी वॉट इज कंडक्शन what is convection and what is radiation conduction convection and radiation please answer this these are the basic concepts of physics these are the basic concepts of physics okay sir so which is the correct answer among from your first options i uh, see there are two questions okay in case of first question answer will be deuterium okay and in case of second question answer will be hydrogen ya fir hamare first question mein d mein agar hum all of the above kahenge to answer all of the above aayega what you need to remember if in option deuterium and tritium are there the answer will be deuterium and tritium and if in option only hydrogen is mentioned answer will be hydrogen this is what i wanted to explain through these questions clear so please so guys from physics tell me conduction what is conduction flow of heat oblique energy flow of heat oblique energy through solid that is known as conduction flow of heat oblique energy through फ्लूड दैट इज फ्लूड में क्या क्या आता है फ्लूड मीन्स लिक्विड प्लस गैस समथिंग दैट फ्लोज उसे हम कहते हैं फ्लूड ओके तो लिक्विड और गैस के थ्रू अगर हीट या एनर्जी का फ्लो हो रहा है तो दैट इज नोन एज कन्वेक्शन दैट इज नोन एज कन्वेक्शन कंडक्शन थ्रू सॉलिड ओके एंड रेडिएशन फ्लो ऑफ हीट ऑब्लिक एनर्जी थ्रू वैक्यूम मीन्स रेडिएशन में हीट या एनर्जी जो फ्लो होती है दैट डू नॉट नीड एनी मीडियम दैट डू नॉट नीड एनी मीडियम नो कपिल कंडक्शन मीन फ्लो ऑफ एनर्जी और हीट थ्रू सॉलिड कन्वेक्शन मीन फ्लो ऑफ एनर्जी ऑब्लिक हीट थ्रू फ्लूड दैट इज लिक्विड प्लस गैस एंड रेडिएशन मीन्स फ्लो ऑफ हीट ऑब्लिक एनर्जी थ्रू वैक्यूम और विदाउट एनी मीडियम सो हियर वेन वी से रेडिएटिव जोन इसका मीनिंग क्या होता है 
it is the zone surrounding core this is the zone surrounding core surrounding core through which heat or energy generated in core flows through which heat or energy generated for in the core flows so this is radiative zone fine you already saw radiative zone in the uh, image fine now here what you need to remember only only radiations can flow through radiative zone why because radiations can travel through vacuum without medium radiation flow kar sakte that's why hum inhe kya kehte hain electromagnetic radiation now in live chat you will tell me the names of electromagnetic radiations in sequence i will tell you the first is gamma and last is radio waves in between jo sequence hai wo aap mujhe bataoge ye humne kiya tha fine so electromagnetic radiations and in this case ye keyword yaad rakhna in case of radiative zone energy is conveyed by photons in case of radiative zones energy is conveyed by photons and we know photons they belong to elementary particles i told you the names of another two elementary particles please tell me the names of elementary particles in live chat one was one was neutron another was electron and now you know photon theek hai now you know photons so these are the three elementary particles so in radiative zone sum up karta hu main maine aapko bahut sara background bata diya in radiative zone energy flows from the core into the convective zone as in the form of photons or in the form of electromagnetic radiation so this is all about radiative zone गैमा रेज आफ्टर गैमा रेज तानिया सिक्वेंसियल अगर हम देखें तो आफ्टर गैमा रेज एक्स रेज आफ्टर एक्स रेज यूवी रेज देन लाइट देन विजिबल देन इंफ्रा रेड देन माइक्रो देन रेडियो वेरी ग्रेट वेरी गुड गार्गी द सिक्वेंस गिवन बाय गार्गी इज करेक्ट ओके नाउ अनादर क्वेश्चन फॉर यू गाइज टेल मी वॉट इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम गैमा टू रेडियो वेव्स वॉट इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम गैमा टू रेडियो वेव्स ओके आंसर दैट नेक्स्ट इज कन्वेक्टिव जोन now because in the previous slide i explained you there is no need to explain what is convective zone obviously eh, this is the zone where uh, heat or energy is carried by fluid now temperature as high as temperature as high as 2 million degree kelvin can liquid exist no liquid can exist so here in convective uh, zone energy or heat is carried by the gas energy or heat is carried by the gas that's why this zone is known as convective zone yes very good charchika yes khemraj correct so convective zone samajh mein aa gaya so what is happening energy is being created in the core from core this energy is going to radiative zone that is in the form of radiation or photon from radiative zone this energy is going to convective zone in the form of gas and now from convective zone this energy will go to the photosphere okay this energy will go to the photosphere yahan pe aapko yaad rakhna hai these are the actual parts of the sun and from here onward atmosphere of sun started okay atmosphere sun ka start ho gaya ab here onward photosphere chromosphere and the corona so this is core radiative zone and the convective zone rest details of convective zone you can read in the slide okay you can read in the slide just remember the maximum temperature you can experience is in core slowly in radiative zone temperature will reduce in core convective zone temperature will drop down again yes ramandeep core correct wavelength fine so this is about the convective zone i am going to explain you one example of convection in our real life and then you are you read this point of this slide aap uske baad ye point read karoge theek hai ye convective zone mein aapko explain karta hu pehle real life mein se nowadays we are using geysers to heat water right we are using geysers to heat water but in older days even today in my village we use chulhas okay we use 
biomass we burn biomass and we use that to heat water so this is water and we are heating this water okay so what happens please tell me guys when we give this heat this this water will heat up the temperature of this water will increase and this water will go up and cold water will come down temperature of this cold water will increase and again this cold water will go up and again it will come back so kya ho raha hai this is convection theek hai hot water surface pe ja raha hai aur cold water base pe aa raha hai again that cold water is becoming hotter and it is coming going up so ise kehte hain convective cell aapne ye convection cells geography mein bhi padha hai in geography you learned about convection cells hai na low pressure and high pressure and why low pressure is created because of high temperature low pressure create hota hai that's why this nisarga cyclone low pressure system hoti hai cyclone is a लो प्रेशर सिस्टम और लो प्रेशर कब क्रिएट होता है व्हेन देयर इज मोर टेम्परेचर तो कोल्ड एयर डिसेंड होती है लो लो प्रेशर पे एंड हॉट एयर क्या होती है असेंड होती है सो दैट यू नो एवरीवन तो ये कन्वेक्शन का सिंपल मीनिंग क्या है फ्लो ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम हायर टेम्परेचर टू लोअर टेम्परेचर हियर यू सी हॉटर मटीरियल नियर द टॉप ऑफ द रेडिएटिव जोन राइजेस अप सी राइजेस अप and cooler material sinks to the bottom cooler material sinks to the bottom so basically hota kya hai this is radiative zone this is convective zone to so, yahan se kya ho raha hai iske top se hotter material upar ja raha hai aur yahan se cooler material sink ho raha hai to so, is tarah se ye flow maintain hota hai that's why it is known as convection or convective zone That's why this is convective zone. Okay, guys, clear? Clear? यहाँ पे भी क्या हो रहा है convection zone में what exactly happens? Flow of gas from radiative top of the radiative zone to the convection zone. Okay, fine. So this is about convective zone. This is about convective zone. यहाँ पे आपको एक याद रखना है because here in convective zone energy is transferred much faster than By radiation, radiation के comparison में energy का flow क्या होता है fast होता है Fine, they just remember this point. Next, uh, it takes only one week for hot material to carry its energy to top of the convection zone. एक week में ये energy convection zone के top पे आती है and after that it enters into photosphere. So here we are done with the first three uh, parts of the sun या inner layers of the sun core, radiative zone and convective zone. or convection zone inner layers they are actual parts of the sun okay here just remember temperature is decreasing from core to convection zone now photosphere this photosphere is very simple the sun that we see visible part of sun is photosphere visible part of sun is photosphere ye pehla point dusra All the phenomenons like sunspot, all the phenomenons like sunspot, solar flare, okay, uh, then uh, coronal mass ejection. ये जितने भी phenomenons से everything happens in photosphere. Everything happens in photosphere. So this photosphere is very important when even in geography uh, we study sunspot cycle that is happening on the photosphere. so this is photosphere fine here you can see in the first slide just listen to this carefully and remember this forever churchika if you are sitting uh, nearby a uh, nearby a gas okay uh, in kitchen you turn on the gas you uh, there is a fire coming from the glass a gas and you are uh, standing in front of of that gas jaise uh, jaise aap wo gas ke से दूर जाते हो तो टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज होता है या डिक्रीज होता है डिक्रीजेस बिकॉज एक्चुअल एनर्जी इज बीइंग क्रिएटेड एट द कोर एंड वी आर गोइंग अवे फ्रॉम द कोर सो जैसे जैसे हम कोर से दूर जाएंगे तो टेम्परेचर क्या होगा रिड्यूस होगा दैट्स वाई टेम्परेचर रिड्यूसेज फ्रॉम कोर टू कन्वेक्शन जोन और कन्वेक्टिव जोन तो फोटोस्पेयर सी आई वॉज टेलिंग यू रिमेंबर दिस वेरी केयरफुली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर फिल्म्स एटमोस्फियर ऑफ द सन atmosphere of the sun is composed of several layers 
there are many layers here i am giving you information about only three layers one is photosphere second is chromosphere and third is corona these are the three main layers there are many more layers while reading current affairs in the hindu you might come across these new layers as well as i will cover that as well as you need to remember remember them okay clear so ekdam pakka mind mein rakhiye sun ke atmosphere ke main kaun se layer hai teen photosphere chromosphere and the corona fine that's it then jo hame sunlight detect hoti hai na humne kaha hi hai na ki visible part of the sun to wo detect hoti hai because from the photosphere फोटोस्पेयर से हमें सनलाइट डिटेक्ट होती है ठीक है रिमेंबर क्रोमोस्पेयर तो विजिबल भी नहीं है ठीक है देन फाइन इसकी थिकनेस नॉट मच इंपॉर्टेंट अब यहां पे याद रखना है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आफ्टर थ्री लेयर्स ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर ऑफ सन नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉप पॉइंट इज फोटोस्पेयर इज नथिंग बट ग्रैन्यूल्स ऑफ प्लाज्मा फोटोस्पेयर में क्या होते हैं ग्रैन्यूल्स ऑफ प्लाज्मा होते हैं कोर से लेकर सन के सारे लेयर्स में बेसिकली होता क्या है प्लाज्मा ही होता है ये रिमेंबर याद रखिए एंड व्हाट इज प्लाज्मा क्विकली व्हाट इज प्लाज्मा प्लाज्मा इज नथिंग बट फ्लो ऑफ प्लाज्मा इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड निगेटिव चार्जेस राइट प्लाज्मा इज मिक्सचर ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड निगेटिव चार्जेस एंड दिस प्लाज्मा इज बींग इमिटेड फ्रॉम द कोर सो दिस प्लाज्मा इज ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम कोअर रेडिएटिव जोन कन्वेक्टिव जोन टू फोटोस्पेयर मतलब प्लाज्मा का क्या हो रहा है फ्लो ऑफ प्लाज्मा एंड वेन चार्ज फ्लोज वॉट वी कॉल दिस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और करंट फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज इज करंट और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड वेन एनी चार्ज फ्लोज इट लीड्स टू द जनरेशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड यस वेरी गुड चर्चिका चार्ज पार्टिकल्स रमनदीप को और गुड पॉजिटिव निगेटिव चार्जेस सो फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज को करंट कह दे एंड वेन करंट फ्लो इट जनरेट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड हियर यू कैन सी सन्स मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो जब ये प्लाज्मा फोटोस्पेयर से इमिट होता है तो ये क्या करता है सन की खुद की भी मैग्नेटिक फील्ड है एज वेल एज ये मैग्नेटिक सर्कल्स बनाता है दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल जब हियर वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू इज फोटोस्पेयर पे मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ब्रेक होती है सन की ओके क्लियर क्लियर गाइस विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट फोटोस्पेयर फाइन एज आई टोल्ड यू ऑलरेडी फोटोस्पेयर इज द सोर्स ऑफ सोलर फ्लेयर्स नाउ व्हाट इज सोलर फ्लेयर इट इज द टंग ऑफ फायर टंग ऑफ फायर का मीनिंग क्या होता है सी ये सपोज यहां पर हमने कुछ वुड के ब्लॉक्स बर्न किए ठीक है वी आर बर्निंग समथिंग हियर तो होता क्या है जैसे जैसे आप यहां से ऊपर जाओगे फायर इस तरह से बर्न होगी ना है ना इस तरह से फायर बर्न होती है सो दिस इज द टंग ऑफ फायर हमारी टंग भी ना जैसे जैसे व्हेन इट प्रोट्यूट्स इट बिकम्स नैरोअर राइट तो सोलर फ्लेयर इज नथिंग बट दी टंग ऑफ फायर जैसे इफ आई ड्रॉ सन दिस इज सन जो आउटर मोस्ट जो मैंने ड्रॉ किया है कंसिडर दिस एज अ फोटोस्पेयर and from this photosphere because of coronal mass ejection ye is tarah se plasma emit hota hai but because of the magnetism this plasma remains attached to the photosphere as well as it is being emitted so this is solar flare this is solar flare and when this solar flare jaise ye aise detach hone lagti hai magnetic field kya hoti hai stretch hoti hai and at one point this solar flare gets detached from the sun ise hum kehte hain solar wind this is solar wind now plasma ejected plasma ejected ise kehte hain coronal mass ejection plasma is nothing but loss of mass of the sun to so corona se corona mein hum aayenge fir se lekin yahan yaad rakhiye this is coronal mass ejection yahan pe aapko yaad rakhna hai this is solar flare okay सोलर फ्लेयर इट इज फेनोमिन दैट वी कैन ऑब्जर्व ऑन दी फोटोस्पेयर दूसरी जो चीज हम सो, सो, यहाँ पे ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हैं वो ये है कि सी अब ये फोटोस्पेयर है ना यहां से क्या हो रहा है प्लाज्मा इमिट हो रहा है तो कंपेयर टू दिस पार्ट कंपेयर टू दिस पार्ट ऑफ द सन 
टेम्परेचर ऑफ दिस पार्ट विल रिड्यूस क्योंकि यहाँ से प्लाज्मा इमिट हुआ हीट इमिट हुई तो टेम्परेचर रिड्यूस होगा तो इसे हम कहते हैं सनस्पॉट सनस्पॉट आर ऑलवेज फॉर्म एट द बेस ऑफ द सोलर फ्लेयर क्योंकि सोलर फ्लेयर के फॉर्म में हीट इमिट हो रही है ओके सर इज देर एनी कंसेप्ट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ साइक्लॉन ऑन सर्फेस ऑफ सन नो दुर्गेश नो साइक्लॉन्स दैट इज अ फेनोमिनॉन विच कैन बी ऑब्जर्व बेसिकली ऑन द वॉटर बॉडीज ओके सो सनस्पॉट और सोलर फ्लेयर ये याद रखिए फाइन दूसरी पॉइंट जो आपको यहाँ याद रखनी है फॉर योर फिल्म्स सोलर फ्लेयर प्रोड्यूसेज बर्स्ट ऑफ एक्स रेज एवी रेज एंड और यू कैन से इन शॉर्ट ऑल इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन सोलर फ्लेयर्स आर नथिंग बट इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन सो दिस इज अबाउट फोटोस्पेयर दिस इज अबाउट फोटोस्पेयर नाउ हियर नेक्स्ट इज क्रोमोस्पेयर फर्स्ट पॉइंट जो आपको क्रोमोस्पेयर का याद रखना इट इज नॉट विजिबल जैसे फोटोस्पेयर इज विजिबल टू अस इट इज नॉट विजिबल कलर ऑफ दिस क्रोमोस्पेयर इज रेड और रेडिश This chromosphere is visible only during solar eclipse. जैसे ये सन है ठीक है सोलर इक्लिप्स आता है तब क्या होता है ये सन है दिस इज इंटरनल ब्लैक पार्ट और ये जो रेड दिख रहा है ना दिस इज क्रोमोस्पेयर रेडिस पार्ट और इसके साइड में आपको जो दिखता है दैट इज कोरोना आउटर मोस्ट लेयर ठीक है तो क्रोमोस्पेयर इज विजिबल ओनली ड्यूरिंग टोटल सोलर इक्लिप्स it is visible only during total solar eclipse if you want to see actual chromosphere do one thing search total solar eclipse in uh, google and in that you can find this chromosphere okay or just do one thing remind me i will show you this in google uh, chrome okay so this is about the chromosphere clear guys uh, shri hari सोलर फ्लेयर इज नथिंग बट फोटोस्पेयर से जब मास इजेक्ट हो रहा है प्लाज्मा जैसे देखिए हम इसे ये ऐसा क्यों शो कर रहे हैं बिकॉज दिस इज दिस लाइट इज बींग इमिटेड फ्रॉम द सन बट दिस लाइट इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन सो ये इमिट भी होती है और सन के सरफेस को अटैच भी रहती है तो इट लुक्स लाइक अ फ्लेयर इट लुक्स लाइक अ फ्लेयर and that's why this is solar flare okay if you don't understand this please buzz, buzz me on whatsapp i will explain you this in detail or i will send you a link of a video in which you can understand that more better okay so this is chromosphere now corona corona is nothing but simple jit aap me se har koi abhi mahabharat dekh raha hoga aur nahi dekh raha hoga to isse pehle aapne dekha hoga na mahabharat whenever there is a god in that television so you will see some light emanating from the back side of his head aapne dekha hoga right ab wo jo hai na that is corona that back, black back side light is not actual part of that god but that is the uh, light or that is the in hindi we call that tej wo us god ka hai to use kehte hain corona okay right aura kapil right aura so corona is not actual part of sun but it is the region around the sun in which most of the energy or plasma is emitted by the sun yahan pe sun kya karta hai energy ya plasma emit karta hai use hum kehte hai corona ye actual sun ka part nahi hai and the article in the hindu was talking about coronal heat heating puzzle coronal heating puzzle coronal heating puzzle this that article was talking we will come to that at the end of the lecture ab yahan pe corona aapko yaad rakhna it is the region surrounding the sun in which photo uh, energy or heat from the sun is emitted into the space ye region hai ye space hai jahan pe sun energy ya heat emit karta hai use hum kya kehte hain corona remember corona photosphere and chromosphere these are not actually part of the sun but these are the part of the surrounding of the sun or atmosphere of the sun okay now corona is also not visible to us it becomes visible only during total solar eclipse hame visible sirf photosphere hai corona is also not visible now just abhi ke liye ise thoda sa mind mein rakhiye just keep this in mind I will explain this this you also. बस यहाँ पे याद रखना है कि कोरोना हाई टेम्परेचर आर अ बिट ऑफ मिस्ट्री मैं यहाँ एक्सप्लेन कर रहा हूँ शॉर्ट में आपके अंडरस्टैंडिंग के लिए 
according to us temperature should increase jaise i am traveling from core to radiative zone to convective zone to photosphere to chromosphere to corona so temperature should increase or decrease corona core to corona temperature increase hona chahiye ya decrease hona chahiye please answer temperature decreases ओके नाउ टेम्परेचर ऑफ फोटोस्पेयर शुड बी अब हम सिर्फ इन तीनों की बात करते हैं टेम्परेचर ऑफ फोटोस्पेयर एंड क्रोमोस्पेयर शुड बी मोर देन कोरोना राइट इट शुड बी मोर देन कोरोना बट देर इज अ मिस्ट्री टेम्परेचर ऑफ कोरोना इज मोर देन क्रोमोस्पेयर टेम्परेचर ऑफ कोरोना शुड बी लेस देन क्रोमोस्पेयर बट देर इज अ मिस्ट्री कि टेम्परेचर ऑफ कोरोना इज मोर देन क्रोमोस्पेयर दिस इज अ मिस्ट्री एंड दिस इज द दिस इज द मिस्ट्री विच इज साइंटिस्ट आर ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व एंड दैट्स व्हाट दैट आर्टिकल इज अबाउट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू विथ नंबर्स अभी के लिए इतना याद रखिए कि कंपेयर टू क्रोमोस्पेयर टेम्परेचर ऑफ कोरोना इज मोर इट शुड बी लेस लॉजिकली फाइन नाउ सोलार प्रोमिनेंस सोलार प्रोमिनेंस फाइन यहां याद रखिए सोलर प्रोमिनेंस आपने ऑलरेडी इमेज में देखा है सी दिस इज सोलर प्रोमिनेंस अब इसे आप अगर अटैच करोगे सन से दिस इज सोलर फ्लेयर इफ यू अटैच दिस टू सन दिस इज सोलर फ्लेयर सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द डिटैच पार्ट ऑफ द सोलर फ्लेयर डिटैच पार्ट ऑफ द सोलर फ्लेयर हर्षिता हेलो क्लियर सो सोलर प्रोमिनेंस यहाँ पे नोट्स में एक्सप्लेन किया हुआ है यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट फाइन जस्ट यहाँ पे याद रखना है इट इज अ लार्ज ब्राइट फीचर एक्सटेंडिंग आउटवर्ड फ्रॉम दिस सन सर्फेस लार्ज ब्राइट फीचर एक्सटेंडिंग आउटवर्ड फ्रॉम द सन सर्फेस ओके दिस इज सोलर प्रोमिनेंस गॉट इट क्लियर ये मैं आपको और कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग इमेजेस शो करने वाला हूं एंड में ये स्लाइड्स खत्म होने के बाद देन कोरोनल होल व्हाट इज कोरोनल होल इट इज द रीजन वेयर सन्स कोरोना इज डार्क एंड व्हाई सन्स कोरोना इज डार्क इन दिस रीजन बिकॉज देर इज इमिशन ऑफ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ प्लाज्मा फ्रॉम दिस रीजन लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ प्लाज्मा इज रिलीज एंड दैट्स वाई This is large amount of plasma is released. That's why this region is darker. And उसे हम क्या कहते हैं coronal hole. Now you need to go through these two links to understand much better about the sun. Sun के बारे में और ज़्यादा understand करना है तो you need to go through these two links. So till now what we studied six layers of the sun that we studied. Then we understood what is fusion. Then we understood what is isotope. then we understood what is radiation what is convection okay which part of the sun is visible okay then next now we'll study solar flare solar flare it is a sudden flash of increased brightness and maine aapko pehle hi bataya tha ki see this is sun यहाँ पे मास या प्लाज्मा या हीट एक्यूमुलेट हो रही है और एकदम से ये इमिट हो गई सो so यहाँ का टेम्परेचर रिड्यूस हो जाएगा सो दिस इज सन स्पॉट ओके एंड बिकॉज दिस इज अ प्लाज्मा चार्ज फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल सो इट रिमेन्स अटैच टू द सन सो दिस इज सोलर फ्लेयर ओके ओके क्लियर एंड सोलर फ्लेयर एज वेल एज सन स्पॉट दे आर समथिंग विच कॉज बिकॉज ऑफ करोनल मास इजेक्शन CME coronal mass ejection. It is what leads to release of energy from sun. Sun से energy release होती है कहाँ पे कहाँ पे space में and the same energy which is released in the form of CME it reaches to earth and other planets. हम उसे कहते हैं sunlight. Okay, we call it sunlight. Hello Harshit. Rishu, welcome. But you need to go through my previous videos on An Academy Learning app as well as on YouTube. Then only you will you will you will be able to link things. Okay. Hello, Ankit Kumar. 
okay clear got it so solar flare sunspot i explained you what is it it is nothing but the region on photosphere this is photosphere region on photosphere where temperatures drop because of ejection of plasma that is sunspot then coronal mass ejection i just explained you significant release of plasma uh, along with magnetic field that is solar flare from the solar corona use kehte cme ya coronal mass ejection they often follow solar flares abhi bataya cme ki wajah se hi solar flare bhi aati hai aur solar flare jab detach ho gayi lekin wo prominently show ho rahi hai around sun to usse hum kya kahenge solar prominence everything is because of coronal mass ejection ab yahan pe main aapko jo maine kaha tha na mystery of coronal temperature see the temperature of photosphere everyone knows core radiative zone convective zone photosphere chromosphere and then corona so here is the photosphere our logic says ki temperature should decrease from photosphere to corona it should decrease from photosphere to corona so see the temperature i and in photosphere varies from 6500 kelvin to 4000 kelvin theek hai this is temperature what is the temperature of corona see 5 lakh kelvin so temperature of corona is more than photosphere correct second what is the temperature of chromosphere 4000 kelvin ye wala catch ho gaya and 8000 kelvin at the top yahan pe bhi aap dekh sakte ho photosphere se chromosphere mein temperature thoda badh gaya aur chromosphere se bhi temperature badh gaya corona mein 5 lakh kelvin so this is mystery this is mystery that we are unable to understand ab ye mystery ka ek solution ek scientist ne diya hai unhone kaha hai ki this plasma carries heat bonds that is structures which have large amount of energy but the, that energy is not released and when these heat bonds enter into corona they explode and that's why the temperature of corona is more but that is just a theory abhi tak hame pata nahi chala ki why there is more temperature in yes harshit there is yes there is a magnetic field in sun and around sun okay clear guys ye heat bomb ab next jo hai uh next we'll go to the uh go to our article fine just stay tuned hum article pe ja rahe hain theek hai jo the hindu mein article aaya tha see no more light on sun's coronal heating puzzle see coronal heating puzzle i uh, just told you about coronal heating puzzle second yahan pe jo aapko yaad rakhna hai cheez ठीक है दिस इज डन बाय सम इंडियन साइंटिस्ट देयर फोटोज एंड द नेम्स यू कैन सी एंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज वेल नॉट मच इंपॉर्टेंट सी कोरोनल हीटिंग प्रॉब्लम दीज रेडियो लाइट्स और सिग्नल्स रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द बीम्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एक्सिलरेटेड इन द आफ्टर मैथ ऑफ मैग्नेटिक एक्सप्लोजन इन द सन मैग्नेटिक एक्सप्लोजन इन द सन सो ये रेडियो सिग्नल्स है या रेडियो लाइट्स है वी ऑलरेडी नो इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन दैट्स वॉट इज इमिटेड बाय द By the sun, ठीक है Then याद रखिए smoking guns. अब यहां पर जो है ना what we are saying after math of a magnetic explosion on the sun. अब हमें यह कैसे पता चला कि there was a magnetic explosion on the sun because of these radio lights. जैसे after you fire a bullet from the gun, there is a smoke. अगर gun के पास smoke है तो हम कह सकते हैं कि there was a bullet fired from the from this gun a few seconds ago so that smoke tells us ki there was a firing in the same way these radio lights they act as smoking guns which tell us ki there was a magnetic explosion on the sun okay and these scientists they detected these radio lights or signals fine second सेकेंड यहाँ पे मैं आपको एक और बात बताना बताना चाहता हूँ नैनो फ्लेयर्स जो मैंने हीट बॉम्ब बोला था ना अभी एंड में क्लास के इट इज रिलेटेड टू दैट सम साइंटिस्ट से कि इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द हीट बॉम्ब दैट कोरोना दैट कोरोना ऑफ द सन इज मोर टेम्परेचर ऑफ कोरोना ऑफ सन इज मोर बट सम से 
this, like this American solar astrophysicist Eugene Parker, he says it is because of nano flares. So uh, you already know the basics of sun or anatomy of sun. My suggestion to you is please read this article again. And if you are unable to understand anything from this article, ask me on Telegram or on WhatsApp or on comment on Unacademy Learning app or in the live chat on uh, YouTube. Good morning, Gauro sir. Okay, fine, guys. So that's it. Now we'll uh, just go to the end of the class. Uh, is class ke end mein, I'm going to announce something. So stay tuned. Okay, don't leave. Just five more minutes. Not even five more minutes. Just a minute. Just a minute, guys. So subscribe to Unacademy's uh, Unacademy's YouTube channel. Let's crack UPSC CSC. Hit the bell icon so you will get regular updates and you will not miss any videos. And use my code SKUS for subscribing Unacademy plus platform and, and you will get immediate 10% discount. Fine, guys. Now announcement here. First thing we are tomorrow we are meeting at 8 a.m at 8 a.m on uh, an academy learning app an academy learning app okay and tomorrow's topic that we are going to study on an academy learning app is iter international thermonuclear experimental reactor what you need to do those who are from art and uh, commerce background you need to do only one single background study first basics before attending this class atomic number aapko padke aana hai atomic mass number bhi padna hai okay as well as you need to read what is fusion and isotopes ye teen ye cheeze aap kal class ko class mein padh ke aaiye fine then we will discuss iter international thermonuclear experimental reactor and tomorrow's 11 am topic i will announce tomorrow in the unacademy learning app uh, one more thing uh, those who do not have my whatsapp number please ask for the whatsapp number uh, tomorrow at 8 am in the morning on unacademy learning app Aapko karna kya hai? You need to check my WhatsApp status today. WhatsApp status today. Okay. Before you sleep. Okay. Before you sleep. I'm going to give you a link on my WhatsApp status of YouTube. Okay. Jis pe aapko mera ek recorded video milega which will be premiered today. Live nahi hoga, it will be premiered so you can watch it in recorded format but the link will be given in my whatsapp status as well as I will provide that link on my telegram channel link of my telegram channel is t.m oblique sachin underscore kadam one okay so uh, do uh, subscribe to this telegram channel so that you can get notes as well as information about the future videos or lectures okay guys bye bye take care uh, ram kumar aluwala good morning ram kumar you are too late we are closing the uh, lecture or live session thank you guys stay tuned stay home stay safe stay away from the corona and take care of your family and friends from the corona bye bye guys bye